How's it going everybody? Squeegee Dino Toy here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough on how to use an atlas, a texture atlas, to create quick and easy textures for objects such as signs and buildings. This is a technique that I use a lot of the time to create textures that are not necessarily going to be tileable. So I'll show you a great example of how to use this and you guys can apply it to any technique you'd like. Quick demonstration of what an atlas is, is I'll just open up this one that I have here, my doors atlas that I use. Essentially it's a bunch of different textures layered into one image. A great example of a game that you probably know that utilizes this is Minecraft it uses texture or uses a texture atlas for almost every texture in the game. So I'm going to jump into Blender. And here we have my building, it's just a simple cube, and I want to add a door texture to it. So step one, I'm going to enter the object, and I'm going to add two edge loops. And I'm going to scale them, and slide them a little narrower, and that looks like a good size for a door. Now I'm going to add an edge loop for the top. Okay, that looks like a good size. Now I'm going to press A, U, Smart UV Project, and I'm going to project this object. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to my materials and I'm going to go ahead and just add material blank to the whole object. Next I'm going to click on just this door and I'm going to create a new material and I'm going to call this doors and I'm going to go to base color, click on the circle here and I'm going to image texture and then I'm going to open and now I need to navigate to where my texture is saved and open the atlas that I want to be using. In this case, I'm going to be using doors.png. Hit open image. I'm going to hit assign. And it'll assign the doors texture to this object here. Okay, now if I switch my rendering mode to viewport shading, you can see that it has applied the atlas, but it's kind of messed up, right? So what I need to do is I'm going to click on just this door. I'm going to hit U and unwrap and that'll unwrap it separately and if we go ahead and go into our UV editing mode we can see what that looks like before and after so I'm gonna toggle my sync selection so right now when I click this it's this object here within the greater map and I unwrap it and now it's a, it's its own separate island so now I'm gonna choose a door that I want let's say I want this blue door here I'm gonna shift right click to move my 3d or my 2d cursor to that point and I'm going to switch from bounding box center to 2D cursor as my pivot point. And I'm just gonna scale this island down so that it matches the door that I want to be using. What I'm doing is I'm setting it up so that this plane is reading this part of the texture. And I prefer to use the scaling to move these lines around rather than grabbing and dragging because grabbing and dragging can sometimes affect other connected points. So for instance, if I grab this line, it's also this line over here, so it can mess up the texture of the greater object as well, which we don't want to do. And scaling avoids that. Okay, and you can use X and Y to scale along those axes. And there we go, that's pretty good alignment. So now if we come over here and we change back to viewport shading, as you can see it is aligned with that door and to really demonstrate what that's doing that's a great visual example of what I'm doing with this function okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to save this to my project my unity project now we're gonna pop into unity I've already imported my atlas textures into unity but you're going to want to do so. I'm using the same, it's my doors with the doors normal that I recently created. And you can find the atlases that I've created in the, um, the discord or I'll try to remember to put them in the video description. And if I don't remember please message me and tell me I forgot. Okay, there we go, that's fine for now. And I'm going to go ahead and drag my, we'll just use my brick material for the building. And as you can see no door. So I'm going to go create material. I'm going to call this atlas underscore doors so that I can keep all my atlas textures in one place. And I'm going to lock this inspector. I'm going to go to my textures and I'm going to drag my doors to the base color and my doors normal to the normal map. And you will have to fix it. I already hit fix now on this as I tested it earlier. 
And we're going to go back to materials and drag and drop that onto our door. And there you go. You've got your door in position right where it needs to be. Because it's got the normal map, there's a little bit of 3D. Let's say that you want it to be a little more realistic looking. What we can do is we can grab this face and press E and inset it a bit. And then we can even go another step. And as you can see, there's this part here. I can go ahead and press Control R. Add an edge loop, edge loop here, grab this, and drag that back out. Okay, now that's got a little more three dimension to it. And if we really want to get fancy with it, we can even add yet another bit of texture to it. Now the normal map is pretty much going to cover this for you, but if you want to get fancy with it, this is just an example of how we can utilize our tools here. And I'm going to inset my window here. All right, there we go. Hit Control S because I saved it to my Unity project. Let it update, and there we go. It has inset the door a little bit. The window looks a little more three-dimensional, and so does the hinge. Okay, guys, good luck experimenting around with it. Please message me on the Discord at Squeegee Down the Toy if you need help or have any questions on what to do with this or how to use it. And feel free to leave suggestions in the comments on what you'd like to see for the next tutorial. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a great day.